The next idea here is deen. Because he said, يُعَلِّمُكُمْ دِينُكُمْ He came to teach you your deen. What does deen mean? The Arabic word comes from a root word, dana yudinu, means to discipline. It has the meaning of to discipline. It has the meaning of to consider guilty. Idana is when somebody is guilty of something. It has also the idea of a debt, indebtedness. Dain is debt. Medin is somebody who's in debt. Da'in is the one you owe the debt to. It also has the meaning of a rain, a gentle rain that keeps coming back. And the religion, at the essence of religion, is an idea that this is, it is a rain. It's a life-giving rain to the spirit that keeps coming back. It's something that keeps coming back and is reintroduced into humanity again and again. So at the essence of the human experience has been these rains that have come, revelations that have come, heavenly rains that nurture hearts, that bring people back to life, that bring their lives to a spiritual fruition. The idea also of debt, which is also interesting because there's an idea that if somebody loans you money, you feel indebted to them. And the idea here is that God has loaned you your life. It's a loan. And the beauty of a loan is it's not yours, but while you have it, you can do with it what you want. Now, obviously, if somebody loans you money with a stipulation, if you go to the bank and you tell them, I want $100,000 to buy a house, and then you go and score a kilo of cocaine uh, with the money, obviously, you've broken the contract. They wouldn't just give it to you like that. They don't do it like that anymore. But generally, the idea of taking a loan as a trust, there's a reason why that person's giving you a loan. And generally, people want to know what the loan is for. They ask you, what do you need it for? Well, I need it for this or that. The more honorable the reason, the more likely for the loan. So the idea of God giving you a loan, uh, a goodly loan, it's the loan of your life. And then the beauty of it is, on the one hand, it is a loan. On the other hand, he offers the chance to sell this thing that he's given you back to him. And that is an honoring, according to the Quran. It's in the lashtara min al-mu'minin, Allah bought from the believers. So the idea of God buying from you something is meaning that he's putting you, there's parity in the relationship. It's not that you're an equal to God, but in this relationship, He's making you an equal. He's making you somebody who's actually gone into a transaction with him. And the sale is your soul. And that is a high thing. So the idea of giving the soul back to God and he pays you for it. And that's why when that verse was revealed, everybody was happy except Abu Bakr. He began to weep. And the Prophet looked at him and he said, why are you weeping? And he said, how can we sell back to God what already belongs to God? So he understood it at a deeper level than everybody else, which is why he's Abu Bakr. But he understood that this is an honor from God. That's all it is. And so this idea of this debt, that you're morally obliged to pay this debt back, and that's what the deen is. It's the payback. It's what you do as a way of paying back this immense loan of consciousness, of a heart that he gave you human consciousness. And this is how you pay it back.